A very warm welcome to this, the first film in our Construction Drawings series. We will start by looking at the role of the architect during the technical design phase of a building project. Construction drawings are sometimes referred to as working drawings, that is, drawings of the works to be carried out. They describe the construction process rather than its outcome, which is illustrated in design drawings. Starting at a scale of 1 to 50, construction drawings show how a structure is to be built. A construction drawing is effectively a set of instructions for the builders. An architect cannot spend the whole day on site telling each individual tradesperson what to do. Instead, they prepare a drawing or set of drawings to communicate this information. This enables the builders to operate independently of the architect in both space and time. This photograph shows an architect leaving the building site as one of the builders reads their drawing. As a project moves from the design phase to the construction phase, the role of the architect changes. The design process deals with the building as a whole and requires results-oriented thinking. The construction phase marks the shift to realization and requires process-oriented thinking. At this stage, the architect needs to think ahead and anticipate the process of assembling the various components. A construction drawing breaks a building down into its constituent parts. Irrespective of its scale or the level of detail, it shows the components that will be used to build the walls and floors of the building. Reinforced concrete, thermal insulation, sheet metal, substructures, windows, etc. Buildings are often made using many different components and thus involve many different types of worker. In the language of the architect, these disciplines are known as trades and the people who practice them as tradesmen or women. They include concrete workers, bricklayers, carpenters, drywallers, tilers and many others. It's impossible to provide all the data required by all the different trades on one construction drawing. The result would be too unclear and confusing. Different construction drawings are therefore made for the shell, the facade and the fit-out, for example. This photograph shows the assembly of a glass facade. The drawings are laid out on the mobile scaffold in the foreground. Construction drawings are a means of communication. They give instructions, which must be clear, precise and unambiguous, leaving no questions unanswered. The same principle applies to road traffic signs and the rules governing how a sport is played, for example. The clarity and precision of a construction drawing depend on the information it contains being well organised and easy to locate and understand. A poor construction drawing is like a person who talks endlessly without ever coming to the point. The boundary between design drawings and construction drawings lies somewhere between the scales of 1 to 100 and 1 to 50. Drawings on a scale of 1 to 2000 to 1 to 100 are used in the design process and to illustrate the completed building. Drawings on a scale of 1 to 50 to 1 to 1 are used to explain the construction process. They provide the information required to erect a building. Summary Construction drawings are a means of communication. The various trades receive separate 1 to 50 construction drawings from the architect, telling them exactly what they have to do on site. Please take a look at the second film in our construction drawing series. It examines the information that a construction drawing needs to provide.